What is going on guys, my name's Liam and <coughs> Oh my god, wow that was the weirdest thing in my life what is going on guys, my name's Liam and welcome back to another video today. Now today's video is going to be rating your guys' outfits number two. Now you guys really, really loved the last episode so I thought why not come back with another one. And you guys have sent me outfits, I think I've got nine outfits here. So we're going to jump straight into the first one. So the first outfit is from Terry and it looks like he's got a pair of black boots on or maybe Converse with like biker denim. Um, a black tee and then like a really really long flannel now I do like this look It's not something I would personally wear, but I do like appreciate the outfit Obviously like the long flannels like it just adds a lot to the outfit if it wasn't wearing that It'd be like kind of like plain all black But with the red flannel it kind of like it makes it like so much better I think and then you've got like the little chain detailing to go with like the detailing on the knees as well Them jeans they're kind of like it's like biker denim, but with like the zips on the knee I've seen them before now they're not really my style, but as I said, I do appreciate the outfit. I feel like it's quite like a, a gothic style look, which is nothing wrong with that, I think it's super cool. But I'm going to give that outfit like a 3.5 out of 5. Now if you guys do remember in the last video, I did rate these outfits out of 5, so I'm going to do that again in this video. And you can check out all these people in the description below as well. Now onto the next outfit, we have Man Like Elix. And this outfit is a pair of classic Vans with Vetamont socks, crop blue denim, black tee, like like a khaki green kind of looking like overcoat and then like a beanie. Now I do like this outfit, I'd say one tip would maybe change the jeans just because I don't think crop jeans on this outfit does look like right I think. But I like obviously like the Vans and Vetements combination and then the jacket's quite cool as well. It all like flows nicely. I'd say just change the jeans so they're a bit more like baggy and a bit longer I think. I get what you've tried to do with like to show the Vetamont socks, which is a cool idea. I mean, I've done that before, but I think it might be the colour. So I think black jeans may have got a bit better as well. And then bean is just like a cool little accessory to add on top. So I'd rate this one like a 3.5 out of 5 again. Now the next outfit is for my boy Steven. Now straight away, this outfit's like a 5 out of 5. It's got the Balenciaga cap with the represent like bag. I think that is a sample bag, I'm not too sure. And then the tee, I can't remember what the tee is, but it's like a vintage oversized like drop shouldered tee, which is really, really nice, especially in like a khaki colour. And then he's got the represent pants with the Acne Studio sneakers. And them studios, bro, like I'm so jealous that you've got them if you're watching this. They remind me of my Zara ones, but the shape of them just unbelievable. Now this outfit is possibly one of my like just like one of my personal favourites, just because it's all black apart from the tee which kind of like splits up the whole colour. Now I'm not really usually a fan of khaki, but the khaki on that makes the outfit work so much better. And especially like the little accessories, he's got like the cap and then even like the sunglasses on the bag just makes, it just adds a bit to the outfit. And the pants as well, you've got like a stripe going down the side of the pants, which then like matches to the colour of the hat that has the Balenciaga in white. So it all flows really nice. So I'm going to give this outfit like a 5 out of 5, 100%. And the next one is from my boy Dems slash I Be The Cool, which you can check out in the description below. Now, I actually shot this picture. So, this was in Northern Quarter in Manchester, if you guys know where that is, St. Stevenson Square. So, he's got, I think he said that's the weekend bomber jacket from H&M. And then he's got a plain black tee with, like, a necklace. He's got, obviously, got sunglasses. Then he's got some normal skinny jeans with a pair of white quarters. Now, this isn't an outfit I'd usually wear, but, like, Dems has his own kind of, like, style. It's, it's like his own drip, as he likes to call but one thing I do really like, I like the bomber jacket because it's not just plain, it's got quite a bit of detail on it. I think maybe change the sneakers as well to like a black pair, just because white kind of, I think it looks a bit too bold on like the old black outfit. But you do pull it off quite well to be fair, so shout out to you for that one. But I think the necklace and the sunglasses add quite cool detail and obviously because the outfit is not plain, but there's not like too much going on like colour wise. So they just add a bit of detail into it. So I'd give this outfit a 4 out of 5. Now the next outfit is from Spade Kits and I think I featured this one in like the very, very, very first like rated outfits video that I did. Now this outfit is a leather jacket, which is quite cool. It looks like cropped, is it? I think it's slightly cropped. And then he's got the off-white tee. Now I can't remember which off-white tee that is. I can't remember which season that is. Then it looks like not skinny jeans, but quite tapered with then the Yeezy military boots, I think they are. Like the new Yeezy military boots. But I think I like the overall vibe to this outfit. This is definitely something I would wear. I've just noticed you're from Australia as well. That's kind of mad. Thanks for watching my stuff, bro. But yeah, I'd definitely say that's an outfit I'd definitely wear. I maybe change the tee to like a vintage looking tee. 
just so it suits like the whole overall like vibe, like the whole like Yeezy vibe. But I love, I love the leather jacket though. I love the leather jacket and the boots combination. I've worn that a few times and I think it goes really well because it creates like quite a bold looking outfit, which I really like. So if you guys know me, you'll know that I like like my oversized, like relaxed stuff. And then I also like my denim. So I kind of like both, but I think this one's definitely really cool. So I'm going to give this outfit a 4.5 out of 5. If you change the tee to maybe like a vintage looking tee, it'd be a 5 out of 5. Next one, we've got my boy Black Maniac, aka John Mel Chico. Now, I was just at Foot Locker with John, and the whole outfit's actually boohoo, which I didn't realise, obviously, apart from the shoes. But I think it's such a nice outfit. I mean, I think he said he got the sweatshirt in like an XL to have like a really oversized fit, which makes sense. And then he got the pants one size up to have like the baggy kind of stacked kind of look. But I think he pulls it off really well, especially with like the sunglasses as well, just adding details. I love that about these outfits as well. Like you guys always add that little bit extra detail, which is super sick. But we'll run through the outfit now. You've got like a white oversized sweatshirt that says like Mercy in red on the front. And then the Mercy in red goes well with the red pants, which is really sick. I don't know if you're purposely meant to do that, but like that's really, really sick. And then obviously the off-white Jordans, you can't really go wrong with them. Especially with track pants, it just like, it goes really well. But this outfit's definitely something I'd wear. It's like a really relaxed looking outfit. So I'm going to give this one like, I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 5. Just because there's nothing I'd really change because the whole vibe just like works together. Now to the next outfit, we have got my boy Remy, which I actually shot this picture as well. This was quite a while ago. I think it was like six or seven months ago or something like that. But he's got the Boda Skins leather jacket on and they've actually got a sample sale on. So make sure you go and head to the Instagram to go and check it out. Then he's got a plain black tee with like a silver necklace. Then he's got like plain black denim. And then I'd say he's got like boots, which I think the outfit's really sick. It really, really flows. Like it's not too street and it's not too formal. It's kind of like a mix of both. But I'd say the detailing on the arm really, really makes the outfit pop. And obviously the necklace adds a bit more to it as well. But I'd say I'd wear this outfit. Like, I'd definitely wear it if it was for the right occasion kind of thing. But I'm going to break this outfit like a 4.5 out of 5. Maybe if the jeans had like rips in them or a bit of detailing, I think it'd be a 5 out of 5. So now to the last outfit, which is like one of my favourites. I'm not too sure what that shirt is. It says v -Lone down the side in red. with like a Scarface picture on the other side. I'm not too sure if that is v -Lone. And then you've got a pair of, I think they're either trousers or joggers. I think the trousers with then the Balenciaga Triple S. Now, you can't go wrong with this outfit, really. I mean, all the colours flow together. The red and the white on the Balenciagas go well with the red and the white on the shirt. And then, obviously, the pants are all black, and you can't go wrong with all black. So, this is definitely one of my favourite outfits out of today. Now, I'm going to rate this outfit like a 5 out of 5. And he's also wearing a chain as well, which seems to be like a trend within this like episode, which is kind of bad. But I'd definitely rate this one a 5 out of 5. I think it's like one of my favourite outfits out of the whole episode. So that is the end of today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you let me know in the comment section which outfit was your favourite and why. And then anything you would change on any of the outfits as well. But I do love doing this series because it gives me like new ideas for outfits and I can take inspiration and stuff like that. So a massive shout out to you guys for sending the outfits in. As I said, you can check out everyone in the description below. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you drop a like, comment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button too and click the little notification button whilst you're there to be notified each time I upload. So as I said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.